Leo ni siku ya kurudishia Mungu asante. Kama though I can guarantee you you have married a wonderful girl. A hard working committed woman. I have worked with her in government. I have worked with her when I was also at the treasury before. And she is committed to everything she has done. Kutoka wakati tulikuwa tunafanya miradi ya stimulus, ana alikuwa hapo. Kutoka wakati tumekuja na tumeanza mambo ya kubadilisha NYS tulikuwa na yeye hapo. Kutoka mambo ya huduma center amefanya na amefanya kwa njia mzuri. Mpaka sasa watu wa Kirinyaga wamemuamua na mamchukua kama governor wao. Sasa ile imebaki ana. Hiyo nguvu yote umeweka kwa kazi hizo. Sasa utumie hiyo nguvu yote kuhakikisha Kamodo smiles every time he comes home. <laughs> and you are also you're getting married to a fantastic guy. Kamodo Pia is also another committed patriot of this country. A man who has worked hard for social justice in our country. A man who has worked hard for the constitution that we have today. And a man who is committed, cares for his country and cares for his people. Show that very same commitment Buanakamodo to your new bride. And with that, I am sure you will live a happy, prosperous and with God's grace very, very long, long life. Lakini, nafikiri sisi zote tumefundisha mengi. Ya kwanza kufurahia mila zetu. Uswahili alituambia zamani. Mkosa mila ni na ndipo sana sana mambo yetu yaenda kombo kwa sababu tulisahau na tukawacha mila zetu. Leo hii tumeona utamaduni wa wakikuyu na sio utamaduni wa miaka hii chache ambaye tumekuwa around. Hii ni utamaduni ambao ulikuweko hata mbele ya mzungu kukanyanga nchi hizi zetu za Afrika. Lakini yeye akakuja na akatuambia ya kwamba mila zetu ni za kishenzi. Mila zetu hazina maana. Akatupatia Biblia Biblia ambaye pia haikuwa yake hata yeye alichota kwingine na akatuletea mila zake za kizungu na kutoka hapo Mwafrika akijiangalia you look down on yourself kwa sababu twaiga yale ambaye tuliletewa na ndipo mnaona society zetu zinaanza ku collapse watoto wamekosa heshima na wazazi wao. Wazazi hawana nafasi ya kukaa na kuongea na watoto. Watu wamekuwa watu wa madharau. Madharau. Ati ukiona mtu ambaye ako na mila zake una madharau. You greater, you better than they are kwa sababu wewe umesoma. Na hata hiyo kizungu hujui mila yake unaiongea tu you don't know what is the history behind that language and yet you don't appreciate your own tumeona hapa ya kwamba mila zetu sio za kishenzi mila zetu hata ndiziko karibu zaidi na mafunzo tunayofundishwa kwa biblia kuliko zile mila za wazungu ambao wametuletea We are much closer. Na nafikiri ni jukumu letu sisi wote. Kuhakikisha ya kwamba tumerudisha mila yetu. Na ndipo tulikuwa tukiongea hapa na nikasema tuataka unajua sasa 
kuna pesa ambazo hapo awali watu walikuwa wanakataa nazo lakini nimewasukuma sasa na tutaendelea kuwasukuma hawa watu ambao wanafanya mambo ya gambling ni marafiki wetu lakini tunasema pesa hiyo kidogo tunataka irudi tuweze kuiweka katika cultural centers watoto wetu wasome mambo ya culture katika mambo ya sports katika mambo ya historia yetu ya kutambua our heroes and heroines kwa hivyo wale ambao wako hapa mjue mimi ni rafiki wenu napenda biashara yanu na muendelee lakini mtanigawia kidogo ndio tuweze kufanya kazi hii ya kusaidia watu wetu kana ni ati idwe eti kuo eni gambling tuti kweda etware rosiana na adhirikali no ginye kue kienyo kia besa isio na nigeza tuhote kuta mawira magi goku magu kulia magu maburuli kana ni ati eti kuo ni mungu teka ni ya nani kuhu wa mere mati ya utina makiduara igoti ni marihe igoti